Okay, so let's look at uh, this phenomenon known as uh, the Wubo hypothesis. So Wubo hypothesis, this deals with uh, the unspecificity of the TRNA at the third base. So this uh, hypothesis was proposed by uh, Francis Crick, the friend to James Watson. So he proposed that um, so far, we have discussed about uh, the structure of what? TRNA. So we said that TRNA has got uh, these bases. Oh, TRNA looks like this. We have uh, the acceptor arm and the antcodons. Or the antcodon arm. The antcodon arm contains the antcodons. So antcodons, these are bases on the antcodon arm of TRNA, which are complementary to the bases on the mRNA. So let's say, for instance, if this is um, my mRNA, I've got a messenger RNA here. Then here we have got bases. Let me just give three. AC, ACG. If I've got these bases, the antcodons on the TRNA are going to be bases which are complementary to these codons. The bases found on the mRNA, we call them the codons. So what will happen here is that here I'm going to have complementary bases. This will be U, then this will be G, this will be C. So these bases on the TRNA these are what we call the antcodons. Anta, antacodons. Whereas uh, the bases found on the mRNA, these we call them as uh, codons. A single codon is a triplet base. So what we have here, this is uh, a triplet base. So we know to say that uh, during protein synthesis, this tRNA will carry an amino acid, will carry an amino acid, which is specified by that codon. And uh, we say that uh, there are specific uh, tRNAs for each amino acid. For each amino acid has got a specific uh, tRNA. Why specific is because we want these bases to be matching the, the anticodons on the tRNA and the codons on the mRNA to be matching. But one thing which you have to know is that, uh, which you have to know is that, uh, in our early discussions, in the translation one, we discussed to say that uh, there are 64 possible codons. There are 64 possible codons in total. 64 possible codons. Three of these, we said, do not specify for any amino acid. So they are known as stop codons. They are known as stop codons, meaning that we are remaining with the total 61 codons. These total 61 codons, total 61 codons, these cod are the only cod codons which is specified for an amino acid. But one thing which you know is that uh, we don't have 61, 61 amino acids, no. We only have got 20 amino acids in total. We only have got 20 amino acids. And we discussed some characteristics of genetic code. One of them, we say that the genetic code is a redundance or degeneracy. That is, some of the amino acids are specified by one codon, so as to add up to these uh, 61, these 61 codons. Then, because we have got uh, 61 possible codons to code for the 20 amino acid, the number of TRNAs under normal circumstances should also be 61. Should o the number of TRNAs should also be 61. Okay? Now, should also be 61. So that for each uh, 
For each uh, codon which specifies an amino acid should be picked by its own tRNA. But the number of tRNAs in total they are less than 61. So total number of tRNAs are less than 61. Meaning that some, some codons do not have their own specific tRNAs. So what ty type of tRNAs are able to pick such uh, codons which do not have specific tRNAs. So this is now what leads us to a phenomenon which we call the Wubo hypothesis. So Wubo hypothesis states that uh, normal base mismatch, uh, normal base pairing, when this anticodon forms a, a hydrogen bond formation with these codons here, Wubo hypothesis states that uh, the strong bond formation the strong bond formation is only accepted at uh, at position 1 and 2 so we know that this is the 5 prime end this is the, the 3 prime end so in terms of numbers if we are to number these codons a is going to be 1 this will be 2 this will be 3 okay so Uber hypothesis states that uh, normal base pairing or strong base bond formation between the anticodons on the tRNA and the codons on the mRNA is only acceptable at uh, bases 1 and 2. So what we mean is that uh, bases 1 and 2 between this uh, ur uracil and uh, adenine here, this is the first uh, base pair. There should be no more uh, base or strong bond formation. Even this one, this uh, base number two, bond formation, it should be a strong bond formation. That is, uh, there should be no base mismatch. Okay? But at uh, position three, so this is the position three. Okay? At position three, there can be base mismatch. It can be unspecific. So position three is uh, unspecific. Position three is uh, unspecific. That is a. Uh, that is a. Uh, there can be uh, base mismatch at uh, position three. Then that doesn't matter. It is still okay. So Wubo hypothesis states that there should be a strong, strong bond formation is only acceptable at position one and two. That is the first two bases on the tRNA or on the mRNA, but on position 3, there can be base mismatch because it is unspecific. That doesn't matter. So because of Hubo hypothesis, you find that uh, all the 61, 61 codons, they have got uh, tRNAs. They, are, they have got tRNAs. So some are going to, to have base mismatch at uh, carbon 3. That is acceptable. So that's what Wubo hypothesis uh, states. So the position which is said to be Wubo, because there are some questions, some questions will come to say that uh, which position is said to be Wubo. So they will say first, second, third, first and third. The answer is a uh, third. The third position is said to be Wubo. This is non-specific. Is said to be Wubo. That is a uh, base mismatch is accepted at a, uh, at a. Uh, position 3 there. So what we are saying here is that instead of uh, having this type of RNA which is uh, which has got uh, the exact uh, complementary bases to these bases down here we can have a tRNA which has got for instance let's say at carbon 3 here instead of having cytosine instead of having cytosine then let's say we have uh, Okay, so let's say at carbon uh, three here, instead of having cytosine, we have here. We know we are supposed to have guanine. Then let's say we can have uh, uracil. This is acceptable as long as it is at uh, the third position. Then that is acceptable. So this can carry an amino acid. So Wubo is just a phenomenon which states that. Uh, Normal base pairing is only accepted at the first two bases 
On the third base, there can be base mismatch. That has got no effect. It is uh, acceptable. That is the reason why we are saying that the third base is the base which is said to be wubo, to be unspecific or base mismatch. Okay? So this is what you can appreciate on, on a wubo hypothesis. The reason why we have it is because we have got race number of TRNAs. We have got race number of uh, TRNAs as compared to the total number of uh, codons. I don't know the specific number of uh, TRNAs, but they are less than 40. Against uh, the possible 61 codons. Possible 61 codons. So, for us to cut uh, for the remaining, if you say 40 minus 61, you get 21 there. So, for us to cut uh, for the remaining 21, this is the reason why we the AZ, this uh, hypothesis which says that uh, on the third position there can be base mismatch that has got uh, no effect but on the first two positions on the first two positions there should be no more base pairing and uh, there's need for a strong normal base pairing there that is uh, there should be no base mismatch on the first two position on the third position there can be base mismatch simply just to cover for the 40 trns to cover for all the 61 possible codons so that's what we call the wubo hypothesis